In today's video, we unbox and review the best on-road drifting RC for under $100. We show you its features, we do some drifting, and we finish up with some old-school drag racing. Coming up. This one is mine, isn't it? Okay, it doesn't matter. This one's mine. No, yes. this one's yours. No! <laughs> no yeah. I'm on the green agree. one. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Joe. And I'm Amber. And we're the, the RC, RC Kiwis. Kiwis. On this channel, we do everything from bashing, crawling, speed runs, unbox reviews, and much more. So, if you're new here, consider subscribing. That way, you won't miss out on any of our future RC adventures. And in today's adventure, we're taking these two Ready to Run 116 scale on road vehicles for their first run. And then at the end of this video, we'll give you guys our initial thoughts on them. Yes, these are from Pineco Model. I have the SG1604. And I have the SG1603. Fantastic names for the last Cs. <laughs> we want to say a huge thank you to Make Fire for sending these out to us to review. There will be a link to their shop in the description below and where you can buy these from. Also, if you use our discount code, the RC Kiwis, it will give you a further 7% off. Looking around the box, it is four wheel drive, it has working headlights, it has gyro stabilization. It has uh, two sets of wheels as well. Yeah, that's right. Two sets of wheels. One for regular driving, one for drifting apparently. <laughs> but anyway, look, let's not waste any time. Let's get inside of these boxes. Okay. Oh, I like the green one. In the box comes the instruction manual, which you should read. Some tools and accessories. Your drift tyres battery and charger, your remote control, and of course, your on-road RC car. These cars look pretty awesome. Mine's got a carbon fiber look to it with some gold, and Joe's is more silver and green with some nice decals. Yeah, and Amber's also got a little bit of de uh, interior there. She's got a steering wheel, <laughs> she's got, what's this little thing in the middle called? Gear stick, isn't is it? Is it a gear stick? Yeah. I don't know, I don't drive automatic, man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look, let's get under these bodies and see what's under the hood. And I will say, the car does have a little bit of weight to it. It should help keep it grounded when drifting around and things. Anyway, let's look under here. Oh, it was connected with the wire, so be careful of that. Oh. And that would be your headlights. And at Amber's one, she also has the headlights there. Looking at the car, it has front and rear differentials, metal drive shafts throughout. It has a foam front bumper, plastic chassis, a plastic center chassis brace. It's got a motor, it's got an ESC receiver combo, and it's got a tight little servo to turn those wheels. And it has four wheels, and it has suspension, and it's very <laughs> springy. But if you want to know more information on this car, it will be linked in the description below. Anyway, Amber, that's enough of that. Let's go downstairs, get in a taxi, and head out to Disneyland Car Park, where we're going to take these two RCs for their first run. Here we are, back at Disneyland Car Park. On a beautiful sunny day. It's actually sunny today. And of course, we've got our two little RCs out there. We're about to switch them off for its first run. Also brought along the Traxxas Slash Ultimate and the Armour Senton version 3. We're going to be doing a drag race of these. That'll be in a future video, so in order to not miss it, make sure you go here and you hit that subscribe button. Amber, which one's yours again? I'm going to go with the gold. She's got the gold one. We're having a bit of arguing because she wanted to switch and go for the green. I was like, come on, man. That's mine. <laughs> That's enough talking. I'm excited to get mine turned on. I'm going first. Okay. So, Amber, you're going to be the camera woman. And let's get these batteries in. Remote on first, plug the battery in, and turn the car on. Huh! It's not on! Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, we're good to go. It is a cool remote. We'll go over it in a minute. A lot of things going on here, a lot of switches, a lot of knobs. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, the power. power! The speed! This is unbelievable! Okay. Let's say from the first spin. Holy mo- <laughs> That was quicker than I expected. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, this thing is actually pretty quick. It's got a bit of speed to it and it wants to drift and this isn't even the drift tyres. 
These are the standard tyres that come on this wee uh, RC. I've already forgotten the name of it. But you can see it's trying to stabilise itself. See that when you come out of a drift? It's trying to straighten itself back up. A little bit of snaking going on there. And that is that stability control that it's got. It's got that uh, gyro in there. And I'm going to see if I turn it up. So this is what we're going to look at here. We're going to look at the ESP. So if I turn that all the way up. Let's have a look at the car now. So you can see, look at, look at, see it's like snaking. Trying to stay stable. That's out of control. I don't know what it's doing. It's like, nope, 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 nope. It's like a fish. All right, now we'll turn that all the way down and we'll see what it looks like. So that's the ESP. Let's check it out. All right, so now this is like a normal little RC without the stability control. Spins out a little bit easier. Yeah, yeah it's a little bit harder to control. It doesn't want to go as straight as easily, but it's, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it did say 30 kilometers on the box, so we're about to test that speed out in a second. But I tell you, it would be nice if it was a bit faster. I mean, imagine if these things were, I can imagine there are probably already guys making these brushless. See, ESP on about, I don't know, 20%, something like that. There you go, that seems to go pretty nice, pretty straight. Look at that, nice and straight. <laughs> that, that super speed. <laughs> no, we, we do things a little bit differently here on the RC Kiwis. We don't uh, stick to the rules so much. For example, we'll, we'll definitely be taking this out to the racetrack and me and Amber will go head to head with her one. But then we're gonna do stuff like big versus small, you know? We're gonna race this up against the armor fidelity, do crazy things like that for a bit of fun. Because at the end of the day, that's all this hobby's all about, it's having some fun, which is exactly what I'm having right now. This is, this is a lot of fun. Let's see how quickly this thing goes. <laughs> oh, lost a little bit of control there. That is full speed. That is full speed. Let me just double check there's no speed button on this thing. No, that is that is maximum. We got 28 kilometers an hour. <laughs> Hold on a sec. I wonder if I can get it going faster. Uh, oh! <laughs> We've got 100. Of, no, <laughs> still 28. You just need to maintain it for a distance for it to uh, register the speed. So 28 kilometers an hour. That's the speed of mile. We'll check Amber's too, just in case a little bit faster. So you've also got your steering trim, which we all know what that is, and you got your steering rate. So look, if I turn that maximum, look at the steering angle there. Look, ready? Oh, oh! And then we're gonna turn that all the way down. You got nothing. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. See that little tiny mini turning there? <laughs> We're gonna turn it all the way back up to maximum. And that's what you want for drifting, and that's exactly what I'm about to do over here on these cones. So we've got this drift course here. It's already made up for us, these cones. <laughs> Let's see what I've got. Let's see what I can do here. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm not I haven't got much guys. Ooh. I'm bad. Let's see if I can get a drift around this cone. Oh, maybe I need to adjust this ESP. I'll have to turn this up and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Come on, man, I need some water. Let me turn the ESP all the way down and see what happens. That's out of control. Oh my goodness, this is embarrassing. <laughs> Come on, oh, there was a drift. We had a little drift there, come on, man. Oh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, man. I'm not the best drifter, right? I think you can tell. I'm all over the show. I am absolutely pitiful at drifting. I'm trying. It's so much easier for Mini Z, and, and Mini Z is hard. So this comes with drifting tires, and it comes with these rubber tires. So at the moment, the rubber tires on, which aren't meant to be for drifting. And then the drift tires, I mean, we'll have to try that in a future video because I'm sure, oh, come on, I, I must, I have to, I can only improve from this, right? I can only get better <laughs> from this. But uh, I mean, I'm, having, I'm liking this car, it's fun. It is definitely fun, but I do wish, I do wish it was faster. You can never go wrong with a bit, bit more speed. Well, that's enough of watching me humiliate myself with my pitiful drifting abilities, it's time for Amber to humiliate herself. <laughs> Whatever. Amber's on the controls now, she's gonna show us how it's really done, but before we do, let's have a look at these headlights, they're pretty cool, so at the moment, it's, though, you see there's the white and there's the red, and you can switch it once, and then you got just the white light, switch it again, and then you got just the red light, so you can, you can have your, you can customise it to your heart's desire with those front <laughs> LED lights, pretty cool. Anyway Amber, get on the ground and take it for its uh, first run. <laughs> it's actually not too bad, it's, eh? Yeah, it's little, actually quite quick. Houses. And it feels a lot faster. Oh, I see what you mean. It said it's like a wee fish. Yeah, you can see the back. <laughs> but you're driving too far away, they can't see it. I think this would be really good for somebody that's new to RC and then not a whole lot of money. So you could get a couple, you could take your wife, your daughter, <laughs> your son, 
your family, your nanny, your granddad to the racetrack and have a big family race. It was pretty fun, a big family race, and a, a good price too. But you know what? Yeah, sure, perfect for a beginner. But also, I'm sure there are going to be a lot of advanced users out there that are going to get these RCs. Definitely. And like I said before, they're going to kit them out. They're going to, someone's going to make this thing go 100 miles per hour. It's not going to be us. <laughs> I know someone will. A lot of fun for a cheap price. Yeah. And a good wee on road car and it looks nice too and that's it, important yeah it looks it's one of the most nice. important things when it comes to an rc it needs to look nice definitely all right Anna, but let's see what uh, kind of drifting skills you got i'm sure surely it can be better it can't be worse than me oh <laughs> okay okay we can already see how this is going okay now we're going to try the cone and remember this does not have the drift wheels on right so go easy on us in the comments <laughs> you managed to flip it Go easy in the comments, man. I mean, we never claim to be pros, quite obviously. And remember, we currently have a giveaway going. Those that have sent in their entries, sent in their logos, man, they're looking awesome, aren't they, Amber? They're, awesome. they're looking so we're blown away by some of these designs. Really, really cool. And we had a few people ask us, are we going to be doing some Mini Z stuff again? Yeah, man, of course. Don't worry. Don't panic. There'll be a lot more Mini Z stuff to come. In fact, I think we're going to be going out to the track within the next couple of weeks. We've just got so many videos to create, so many RCs to unbox, so many ideas. We're very busy and we both work full time. I think uh, we're both pretty bad at drifting, but I think Amber, you're probably better than me. Even though you're flipping more than me. I think you are better than me at this drifting stuff. Alright, it's time for a drag race. I imagine I have the same speed. Grab the countdown, Amber. Okay, three, two, one, go. Oh, oh, I think yours is oh, a no. little bit quicker. Yours is faster. Wait, where's mine going? <laughs> I've lost range. <laughs> no. Look at that. I can't be really running that fast. <laughs> I'll put the speedo on that because it looks like Amber's might have been a little bit faster than mine. The speedo is an Amber's car. We'll put the cone a little bit closer. <laughs> the range of these cars is probably around about 25 meters, give or take a little bit. Too much past that cone, we lose control. <laughs> so. We're going to see if we can maintain control somewhat to that cone and back. Let's get us to the straight race, Amber. Give us the countdown. Okay. Three, two, one, go. And off we go. That's a bit of fun. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, hang on. Oh, tight. This is tight. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> no way. Bump me off here. Are we going to do the same rules? Do do Loser that? does the dishes. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know if you're about to pick this up in the GoPro, but uh, her speed, 28 kilometers an hour, exact same speed as mine, exactly what you'd expect, right? They were just a warm up, so whoever loses this one does the dishes, all right? All right. Okay. Now you get on the line. What are you doing? Get back, get back. Yeah, that's better. Oh, what's going right, on? What, what are you doing? Keep rolling for for some reason. Yeah, oh, for some reason. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. And off we go. Oh, it's pretty close at the moment. Oh, I've lost control. No! 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 Oh! Oh well, yeah, but I guess I've got to give it to you. You did pretty well there. I know. You did, it. You did dominate me <laughs> in oh. the race. I'll tell you something though. Amber's body's got a lot of scratches on it right now, whereas mine is nice and clean. Yeah. She's been flipping a lot. Right, guys, we're going to go home now and give you our initial thoughts and impressions on these RCs. Well, who's going to be doing the dishes tonight then? Oh, I guess it's, I guess it's going to be me this time. But next time, I promise you, I will absolutely destroy you doing drag races or any kind of race. Not going to happen. It will. Anyway, Joe, what are your initial thoughts and impressions on these little on-road RCs? Well, it's just like you said, Amber. If you're new to the hobby, maybe you're on a budget and you enjoy driving on-road, maybe you've got an on-road racetrack nearby. This could be the RC for you. It's got a decent amount of speed, four wheel drive, and a beautiful looking body. Comes with two sets of wheels, so you've got one for the racetrack, you've also got some for drifting. And hey, you might, at a decent price, you might want to buy two of them, one for your friend, or maybe more, and you get your friends to either go racing. Hey, this could be the car for you, so let us know in the comments down below what do you think of these two RCs. Both of these cars will be linked in the description down below if you're interested in grabbing one for yourself. If you use our link, it won't cost you any extra, but it does help out the channel. Hey, and also use the RC Kiwis at checkout. It's going to give you a further discount on these two RCs. And guys, we just started a Facebook group. Yes, we've got a Facebook page, but that was really just us posting our content to show you guys 
Whereas the Facebook group means that you can share your videos, your photos, whatever you want to share with us and the rest of our RC Kiwi community. So make sure you go join the RC Kiwis community. The Facebook group will be linked in the description below and then you can go ahead and share your YouTube videos. You can share whatever you want, but hey, remember, this is a family friendly channel, so we keep it family friendly. There's no swearing here on the RC Kiwis. I mean, I've never sworn in my life. We, we never swear. And if you haven't already guys, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That's free, so why wouldn't you? And you won't miss out on any of our future RC adventures. Now look, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of what's coming up right now. <laughs> look at this thing! This guys, this right here is the best. The best looking RC in the world. That's right, I've said it. This is the son of a digger. And it is so nice looking. We cannot wait to take this thing out for its first run. We've just unboxed it. We'll have an unboxing video coming for you guys very, very soon. And then of course, first run. And don't you worry, don't you worry. We will be taking this thing off the big black ramp. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And if you didn't, give it a like anyway. Make sure you're staying safe out there on your RC adventures. And remember guys, we're the RC Kiwis and we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.